Hi, today I will tell you all about the abaca production in the Philippines. There are several procedures before abaca fiber is produced such as the process of preparing the abaca fiber from planting, harvesting, extracting, drying, grading, and baling. Abaca fiber goes through a natural process of growing called saccharin or simply called the growing of shoots from the roots. The abaca plant must be at least 18 to 24 months to be fully developed from planting. For the first process, abaca farmers will start preparing for the four phases of harvesting, cleaning, topping, tumbling, and taxing. In the cleaning process, farmers remove dried leaves, grasses, and other weeds surrounding the abaca plant to ensure it is healthy and a viable state. Here is an actual clip of the cleaning process. On to the next stage, abaca farmers cut the upper section of the plant using a sickle to minimize the damage to other plants upon harvesting. Next is tumbling. Abaca farmers cut the abaca stock angled 3 inches above the ground using a sharp bolo. In the cut seeing process, abaca farmer separates the outer layer of the leaf sheath from the inner layer using a taxi knife. Harvesting the abaca plant really takes a lot of time and effort. Moving on to the second process, extraction of fiber. This process has two methods, the hand stripping method and machine stripping or spindle method. In this method, abaca farmers inserts the knife while stripping down its taxi. The strip layer will be put on the stripper and will be pulled out by force with a wooden support to separate each fiber of the taxi. In the machine stripping method, the taxi will be placed around a tapered shaped spindle that is kept in motion by an electric powered motor. A stripper can process many leaf sheets in a certain amount of time and is equipped with a proper knife that can produce fibers of uniform grade. The third process is drying. The entire length of strip taxi will either be sun dried or air dried in a shaded structure before being stored in an area for stripping. The last process for the abaca fiber is grading and baling. The dried abaca fibers will be classified in accordance with the government and international standards. After classifying the fiber, it will be placed in a pressing machine for the baling process. A standard bale of abaca fiber weighs at least 125 kg and measures around 100 cm by 55 cm by 60 cm. The harvesting and the processing of abaca fiber sure takes a lot of time and effort to do. Moving on to the last topic, the final product of the abaca fiber. Abaca fiber produce several products such as ropes, handbags, specialty paper, face mask, tea bags, textiles, and decorations. One of the most used products that contains abaca fiber is the paper currency or paper bills. Abaca fiber is 100% biodegradable and environment friendly which makes it valuable. If the price and demand of the abaca fiber gets higher, abaca farmers will have more opportunities to produce world class fibers and products. Thank you to all the abaca farmers, product makers, producers, entrepreneurs, and to the people who works behind the scenes to support abaca farming in the Philippines.